Hey, what's up? Uh, I'm Duvdev. I am Erez. We're Infected Mushroom and we are here at the moment mm. in our studio, the cabin in Studio City, Los Angeles, California. A nice sunny day. So this studio was built in the beginning of the pandemic, which basically forced me to be at home. And Ares sold his house with the studio and moved to Miami for a few months. It was pandemic times. So I said, okay, dude, what do we do on pandemic? I go like, I want to build a studio in my house. And technically I didn't have any rooms in the house. So I had an attic above my garage and I said, okay, I'm going to transform it to a brand new studio. So I brought some structures engineers, some sound guys, and they go like, okay, let's go for it. And we built this studio. It looks like a cabin, which I like the vibe. Yeah, and since we started Infected. Uh, always the studios were at Ares. It was my house, yeah. It, it, Ares so now it's the so first time it's in his place. It's, it's, so it's in my place. So for me, it's really weird. And the flow came really easy with that because it's like drinking a coffee going up here. Usually there is a big window behind me that overlooks the mountain, but now it's because of the shoot, you don't see it. But, <laughs> but anyways, that helps. And uh, yeah, it's a good vibe room, uh, easy to make uh, music. Well, we do fast dance floor music, which is also psychedelic. Uh, the psychedelic part of it is that we like to choose weird sound and the most complex sound that we can put into the dance floor. And that's why it's called psychedelic trance as to oppose to regular trance, which is more melodic and more, I will call common sound or more pleasing to the ear. Uh, we, we try not to please the ear. So hence <laughs> the psychedelic trance. <laughs> Every time we try to do something different. So a song can start with a, a piano or a guitar, and then uh, this guitar can time stretch and morph to something weird. And they, then we have a kick and bass line in a certain scale. And then just the delay line of the last melody of this part goes to a break and becomes a new chord. And then the whole track changed to a new scale. And we used to be very influenced by Dream Theater back in the day, you know, and it inspired a lot of our uh, arrangement decisions. And of course, we're doing it in our, in our own kind of language. We're really trying to tell a lot of stories in one track. So it's not just you listening to it once and it's like, we, it's a track that's going to be a hit. It's definitely wasn't made to be a hit. We usually, end of the tracks, we, we remind the, the user of the beginning. So if we had some sound element in the beginning of the track or a melody. So when we finish the track, we try to remind the people, hey, it's still the same track like it was a whole journey, at least in our minds, you know, not, not everybody can see it the way we do, but this is kind of uh, our enjoyment in the car when we listen to it afterwards. I yeah. guess we're, we, I want to say in a way like uh, psychedelic storytellers uh, that fit for the dance floor. Uh, it's, it's hard to explain. Well, when we produce trance or psychedelic trance, we think about the flow to begin with. So the live thought about it is also like when we do a, a, a sound, we already think how the guitar sound will sound doing that sound or how will it sound with live drums or of course vocals, then the vocals will be out there for live. So when we do the tracks, we think about the dance floor and for us dance floor is almost the same as a live kind of vibe. Uh, but then you add the, the Infected Mushroom uh, presence on stage, Ares with his keyboard, you add a guitarist and, and, and me jumping around and sk singing, screaming, whatever, and you get an Infected Mushroom live set. But, but the tracks are, are almost thought from the beginning how it will sound, not at home by the dance floor, it's more important for us at least. The melody usually comes, uh, we record something on the iPhone. You know, I can have some sound or a P or Ares play the piano or hide some stupid lyrics in my mind. We record it to, <laughs> to the iPhone, bring it to the studio, put some sort of a s version of it on the Cubase and then we take it from there, you know, because in Cubase, everything kind of changes from what came from the iPhone. Cubase plays a very big role in our writing process. Uh, we have our uh, little macros and do a few functions at once. We have uh, these special things that just makes things, that saves us time basically, like render. 
So we just do one, one part and it doesn't matter if you have a strong computer or not, you just render it and this, it automatically disables the track above it and you save CPU automatically and you can always go back and fix it. So it's part of our workflow. Everyone that comes to the studio that doesn't know Cubase and I just show them these little things and it's like they're blown away how much time it actually saves you. If you hear Infected Mushroom or other stuff, we have a lot of channels. Like, that's, uh, it's not- A lot of people do this. A lot of people yeah. do it, but we, we are from that school, you know? We're not like a 10 channel of a band, you know? Which is great, but we, we have like 200 channels every track. And if I don't have it organized and I know how to find- And Cubase helped over the years and perfected that part of how to find sounds, how to make it easier. And for me, it's very important in Cubase. And what he mentioned about the macros, which he programmed a few of them, this helps us to shorten the process of, of working on stuff. And when you asked how, how we approach Cubase today and how we come into it, because we're so many years with Cubase, it feels like I'm going into the car, you know? It's just driving this operation that I know where to go to. So I don't need a navigation system over there. So yeah. I go into Cubase, and I straight know how to take an idea and make it a track. Yeah, I'm very happy to have the freedom to, to customize this uh, instrument we call Cubase to whatever I think the workflow should be. You, I can make my own workflow. The main problem of touring musicians, which nobody is a touring musician at the moment, but we are pre-COVID, is we don't have a lot of time and and every update that cons that makes us you know make a track faster it's great because we don't have like typical other bands uh, sit in a studio for months and do and do an album because we tour every weekend so we have a few days in the studio we would like to at least with the flow of creating it to do it as fast as we can very audio is the one thing that we use almost in every track yeah. just to kind of well fix my vocals of course but then also to play with them and take them to weird places this has got to be one of the most impressive tools lately in cubase a lot of the stuff that i like in cubase are uh because of my ocd of organization of audio and midi files and the way that cubase is built with the folder system and the color system and the key command system really helps me kind of find my way to big arrangements. I like to kind of folder everything, have my colors, and then when I go to other places and I don't see that, I get a little bit upset, uh, so, and I redo it. So it's, uh, it's, it's one of my flows of walking on a track is the coloring and the, the organization stuff of it. And I'm used to kind of building a track already while it's organized, not after it's done. I'm, while I'm doing it, I'm, we're organizing it. I, all the drums, I, I go like, okay, let's let's put them on a folder. Yeah, it's even while it's it became part of making the track. I started using Cubase, I think, from the first or second version. So that's many, many years ago. And I remember when when Cubase 3 came out, I was blown away already then. I gotta say, I've never thought that, that this laptop here, uh, I we can do all the music only with that. All the rest here and even the room is just for fun. Because I gotta say, with Cubase and with the extra uh, plugins that you have today inside of Cubase or out, in the computer, you can technically do a finished product of a track that will sound amazing. <laughs> 